Nestled near the Gothic Quarter in Barcelona, Spain, you will find Vegan Junk Food Bar, an all-vegan junk food cafe. I'm Eunice, and I'm meeting up with my friend Giovanna, aka Vegan Barcelona, to see if it's worth the hype. Let's go! Vegan Junk Food Bar grew its fame from its Instagrammable decor and crazy vegan food. So we started with some drinks that can also be made non-alcoholic. We got the Tipsy Unicorn and Velvet Passion, and the Velvet Passion was definitely our favorite. So now it was time to try the food, starting with the famous fried mac and cheese balls. Okay, I'm gonna start with mac and cheese balls. Okay, let's do it. Let's do this. Like that. I'm gonna need some sauce. Sauce it up. Housemade sauce. Yeah. We're down for this. We're down for this. All right, next up is the shawarma fries. As you can see, they are loaded. It's your traditional fries with their own shawarma meat, jalapenos, mm -hmm. some flowers. Yeah, they even have flowers. <laughs> their own house-made sauce. I'm just gonna go, go dig in it. right here. Go for it. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow. Can okay. I stick it all in your mouth? Oh wow, she went for it. <laughs> It's delicious, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It tastes like it's not like vegan food. Yeah, yeah, it tastes like not they vegan They did a really food. good job on the seasoning. So it's flavorful, not dry. And the fries are crispy, which I like. Mm -hmm. I mean, now they got a little... They don't taste, they don't taste super soggy. Mm -hmm. This is the kind of food that like people, you know, really want to see and like pay for. You can tell it's the vibe they're creating here because junk food is usually everybody's comfort food mm -hmm. go-to. Exactly. And when you're vegan, you kind of want that burger. You want something crazy. Mm -hmm. You should be healthy, but every once in a while, you don't want to be healthy. Absolutely. Absolutely. And so they've created like this dynamic naughtiness, mm -hmm. but fun, playful environment. With well, the food and the ambiance. Yeah, and it is very like unicorny, just like eclectic is the word that keeps coming to mind because it feels like a lot of bits and pieces of a person's personality are like coming together. Yeah, yeah. It's it's comfort food but with a twist. The burger, it's burger time. So yes, this is their own vegan ribs. So that's why this burger stood out to me. They got onions in here, ribs, and sauce, and cheese, and pickles. Mmm, I love me a good pickle. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I don't know about you, but in school we would have ribs in our, mm -hmm. as our lunch. Really? And it, but it wouldn't be rib. It would be like this like steak rib mm -hmm. covered in barbecue sauce. It reminds me a lot of this. I don't know if you Americans are out there know what I'm talking about. Elementary school. Food. Yeah, exactly. They've done a good job of mimicking junk food. I mean, yeah. really, that's what it is. And it, I think so far it's living up to the hype. So. Yeah. Agreed. The, the bread is good too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I could do this. Mm-hmm. What do you think this is? Like a 3,000 calorie meal? <laughs> My head right now is zero. I'm on vacation. Mm. <laughs> well, as so you can see, kind of lives up to the hype. It's worth checking out for sure if you're Barcelona or Amsterdam. They have a lot of other options too. Let's say worth giving a try. Yeah, I'm down. At first, I thought it was a little expensive, but then when I saw the loaded fries came out, honestly, for an appetizer, this could be two people pushing pushing three. Yeah, because yeah, the Barcelona stand is like a twelve dollar plate of fries. It is pricey. Yeah, it is pricey, but this is, this is pretty hefty. Yeah. And again, this is a food that you're gonna be eating every day anyway, so well, you shouldn't. You shouldn't be eating every day. <laughs> Worth checking out. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and make sure to share to anybody who'd be interested. And you can see more videos up here. See ya.